Beauty and today I'm here to try the Juvia's Place foundation in the shade Legos. So I've been fiending to try this foundation only because I really like Juvia's Place's um, eyeshadows. I feel like they're very vibrant. They're of quality, so now I'm like, okay, let me try the foundation. Um, recently, my go-to foundation has been Fenty. I've been loving all their complexion products. Um, so I'm really excited to try something different only because like, I've literally been using Fenty religiously. So um, I'm just excited to try something new. So like I said, this is the Juvia's Place Foundation in the shade Legos, um, and it retails for $20. I got it today from Ulta, and honestly, they only had one more foundation left in like the dark range of their foundations and this was the only one left so i just pulled up the claims and you know the undertone information for this foundation in the shade legos and it said that legos is a dark skin foundation with neutral undertones so usually i get foundations with neutral undertones or golden undertones and i'm so happy that it's neutral just because i honestly did not check that in ulta so look at God. So this foundation claims to be long lasting, it's matte, and it's also full coverage. So I'm gonna zoom on in so we can try this foundation and we'll see how it's working. I just wanna speak quickly about the packaging. I'm really not, I don't know, I'm not a fan of it. It seems really small. The foundation is only one fluid ounce. Um, and I just felt like they could have done better. Like I would love to see like the, they have a beautiful shade range. I wish they would have done like, I guess like a, I don't know like a glass bottle or something just so we can see that shade range now I feel like it's hard to tell like how much product is in here um, that's another thing when you don't have like transparent um, packaging when it comes to foundation so anyways I'm going to zoom in and we're gonna start to try this foundation okay, so we should be all up in personal um, but I apply the foundation to this side of the face and I'm gonna leave this side blank just so we can see it before and after okay, so I'm gonna start to blend this in initially this foundation is a very very creamy I probably honestly did not need all of this like girl when they say full coverage, it is full coverage. And for me, I honestly don't like a lot of full coverage foundations only because I like to see my skin through. Like, unless I'm going somewhere where I'm like, yo, I wanna be beat, beat. I don't like full coverage um, foundations like that. So it does feel creamy on the skin, not necessarily heavy on the skin, but you do feel the foundation. It's not like cakey or anything like that but you do feel the heaviness of it it's very very creamy very creamy hmm. other than that I'm really loving the finish the finish is flawless and beautiful I love the finish and it's not like matte matte so to speak it's like I don't know it's still skin like it doesn't feel like it's like matte like drying matte it's still skin like so this is how this side looks with the foundation and this is how my skin looks without the foundation so you see a before and after so y'all, this is exactly how the foundation looks um, without applying, you know, the concealer and everything. I'm gonna finish off my makeup and come back. If you don't like full coverage foundations, honey, you are not gonna like it. But anyways, I'm gonna finish off my makeup and come back on camera. So I'm officially done doing my full face and I absolutely love the finish. I know I keep saying it, but like the finish is bomb. Um, one other thing, just because I didn't buy the concealer, the Fenty concealer blended out perfectly and seamlessly with this foundation so I don't know I have to look at the reviews for the concealers but I don't know if I'm personally gonna buy it but as far as the foundation like if you are a full coverage gal um, if you love like skin like finishes I think that this is a perfect affordable foundation um, I also think that the foundation for what the quality is is inexpensive it's only $20 versus like 30 40 50 for like good quality foundations um, the only con would be the packaging I feel like they could have came out with the better packaging just so you can see the beautiful shade range that they have um, and then also like it's 
too creamy like I can't picture wearing this foundation you know for the summertime um, you know for a summer day like if I'm going out in the nighttime you know when I want to look beat beat yes I can put on this foundation but on a day to day I'm kind of like hmm, I don't know because it's too creamy and it is full coverage um, so I like more so like a light coverage but it doesn't affect the finish of it if you get what I mean so thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one bye guys